Okay, so you're gonna be do you're gonna be doing a lap today, um, called totally tubular. So the equipment you're gonna need is you're gonna need some tubes, and I have a variety of tubes that are hiding behind the board right now, but they come in different sizes. Like there's this black one and there's this white one. You always want to start with the shortest tube you can, and then see if you can find the right resonance frequency. You're also going to use tuning forks. You have a variety of tuning forks. Please be nice to them. Make sure they all get returned. Um, but we try not to hit them too hard, but you have to hit them hard enough to be able to hear it. So here's the goal. You want to be able to hear resonance. So remember, resonance is when you hear a loud sound. So you're going to take your tuning fork, you're going to hit it on something fairly solid. All right, you can hit it on your shoe, you can hit it on the table. You put it over the tube and you listen. For resonance. Can you hear it? Let me do it again because it started to get too soft for me and I've heard it on the video. So you can hear how it's louder there than it was anywhere else. So as I hold this up, I need to measure the distance. This is when my partner comes in. I need to measure the distance from the water to the top of the tube. That's going to represent my resonance tube. That's going to represent the shortest length that gives me resonance. So if I want to write on my paper, um, I want to draw a picture showing the tube with the water in it. The water, by the way, needs to be almost filled. So there's beakers that I'll have out and you can uh, fill or uh, empty as you need because too much water and it overflows. Like if I put this tube in, it would overflow because it's thicker. Um, so you use the beaker just sort of to empty and, and uh, fill the graduated cylinder because it needs to be close so that I can get the shortest tube possible. And so I'm going to move it up and down. The tuning fork comes on the side. I measure L. There's my ear listening to it. So I'm going to draw that on your paper. And then always do a quick check. So you do L times 4, because remember this is supposed to be 1 fourth of the wave, right? L times 4 times F is approximately equal to 300, because that's about the speed of sound, which is V. So one of the things it asks on your paper is what's V equal to in terms of L is L times 4, which gives me lambda, and then times F, because lambda F is equal to the speed of sound. So if I measure this, and let's say I thought it was here, and it sounded kind of loud there to me, and I thought and I come over here and I measure this, and that's 10, and then this is about 300, and I go 10 times four is 40, 40, oh, but it's in um, centimeters, right? So 0.1, so it's 0.4 times 10 is four, and four times 300 is definitely not, um, or 0.4 times 300 is not 300. Right? So, because it should come out to be about 0.25, right? Because if this is 300 and I want it to be about 300, I need L times 4 to be about 1. So it should be about 0.25 because 4.25 would give me 1. So 0.1 is definitely too short. So then I know, oh, I didn't get that one. I'm going to try it again. So you try it again and you say, oh, it should be a certain length. Now, you will notice that some frequencies, oh, I didn't hear it this time, some frequencies will be easier to hear and some will be harder to hear. Obviously 300 is about 0.25. If I start getting really low, my lambda gets really big, so you need bigger tubes. So that's when the bigger tubes come uh, come in handy, like this one, right, whoa. And then if you get to the really short ones, I have some that are like 400, then it's just barely, so you have to make sure you have that filled all the way because even that might be not enough because it's gonna be a really, really tiny resonance tube. So you need to do five tuning forks and you need to do your calculations. Good luck.